up everybody so let's talk about some food delivery stuff um, so I just um, you know I didn't have time to go into it in depth but I saw that a restaurant you know restaurants in Indiana you know do not want these relationships with these uh, food delivery companies and I do kind of understand why but I'll tell you off the rip I've always been upset how you know restaurants and I've always been upset with the relationship between restaurants and various, um, you know, food delivery platforms. Uh, I remember when I first got on, you know, as a, a DoorDash delivery driver, and um, there was a, a night where I went to go pick up, you know, at this pub. And when I got to the pub, I said, hey, I'm here for, you know, this order or whatever. And it was, it was for like some duck or something weird. And the the staff immediately started, you know, they were upset at me. They started cussing at me, all this different stuff. And I've never went back to the restaurant since. But um, I understand uh, their frustration. And I really feel like even a lot of times, um, you know, as delivery drivers, a lot of us, I mean, we all make mistakes, but some of us are less responsible than others. And that goes back to make the restaurant look bad. So I wish across the board that the relationship with restaurants and food delivery uh, companies was better. But um, I want to talk about this. So earlier tonight, I had a Uber Eats order and um, it said the pickup time was, you know, whatever. So I stopped to, to get some gas. Um, as soon as I stopped to get some gas, the order was canceled and it said, uh, the order has been canceled due to inactivity or something crazy like that. Well, not something crazy like that. It said something around that. And um, I'm like, wow, they're really becoming sticklers on, you know, whatever, you moving. So, um, and to me, in a way that's good and in a way that's bad. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever really paid attention to this, but I am really starting to look at the times on all the delivery apps when it shows the food is ready. Um, I really feel like knowing that information avoids a lot of confusion. But when I go to a restaurant, just like late, earlier on tonight, I went to Taco Bell and I saw a, a gang of angry drivers sitting in the in the lobby looking, you know, looking pissed. And I was just like, you know what? I, I'm the type of person I don't get into it with with any delivery staff, you know, I mean, not delivery staff, but um, the staff in the restaurant. If it's a long wait, only thing I want to know is, is, is like, okay, how long that I have to wait? Because in all actuality, you can go do other stuff and wait, you know, and let, and, and keep the customer informed. I, I say, Hey, it's a long wait. I'm going to wait. But so many times, like I said, we're drivers at, and, and it's all these platforms are treated like other entities. And we on both sides are representing the customer and we're representing the restaurant. You know, and a lot of people, you know, I see people going in with these dirty ass bags and, uh, you know, whatever. And, and I, I really don't care. Like sometimes like, you know, I'll hear people comment about people's, you know, people coming around, you know, in pajamas and all that different stuff. But I'm just like, just be clean. I mean, just when you're handling people's food, be clean. Like a lot of times, okay, so let's say this, folks, this this example, and this is what I do a lot of times. If I go into a restaurant and it says, you know, it's going to be a 10, 15 minute wait or whatever, wait five minutes, I immediately go in the, in the, in the bathroom and wash my hands with hot soapy water. There's people out here handling people's food. It looked like they just did an oil change. And I'm like, you know, I like food delivery because it gives everyone a chance to do good honest work you know but there's a lot going on in the food delivery spectrum that's really making me think about like man I got to ditch this stuff as a whole you know and really not use it as a full source of income because um a lot of things are changing and 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 these restaurants that don't want to deal with with the food delivery it's it's because of of these factors um also what i don't like and, and i hope you know i kind of hope my video goes viral in a way but um sonic this whole and sonic this goes for sonic all these restaurants when you're serving ice cream and it's going to a customer 
Why can't Sonic have closed lids on these 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 things? I mean, I'm like, and then there's a lot of times, and I don't understand customers, but when I order, look, when I order an Amazon package, when I order anything, I have my eye out. You know, I'm just like, you know, whoever's in my house, I'm like, hey, can you look out? You know, I got something coming pretty soon. Um, I don't understand the people that, you know, so you deliver this ice cream to the person's house, no top on it, you know, well, it's got a top on it, but it's, it's opening top. And these people were letting their ice cream sit out there and, and it's, it's the middle of summer and ants and, and bees and, and flies and all this stuff is flying around. So if, if a fly happens to land or flying ant or whatever happens to land in your drink, you know, you're going to try to give the, 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 um, you know, the, the driver, the bad rating, but it's not the driver's fault. The driver, you know, the driver does not have time for you to, you know, I don't know whatever people are doing, you know, we don't have time, you know, I, and, and, and if, if we are going to wait, you know, um, you know, I don't know, just get tip for your service, but I, I just, like I said, tips are not, tips are not guaranteed. You know, we, we, you know, there's a lot of, there's videos out there, you know, non-tippers, all that different stuff, but tips are not guaranteed, but I just initially, I don't even accept the order if it's, if it's not, you know, worth my while, but I just want people to know that a lot of delivery drivers are trying to get you your food in a timely manner. We're trying to get you your food, uh, shit, where it hasn't been, um, it hasn't been, sorry, it hasn't been tampered with. Um, we're trying to get you your food where it's, it's clean, but you know, I don't know. And then also, you know, there's a bunch of people on, on these platforms with, with bad contact information. You know, you're trying to make sure that, that like this product gets in their hand and you're like trying to call them and, and no answer. Now, what, what trips me out is, you know, we're in a generation now where, you know, everyone is on their cell phones 24 seven, you know, at work, you know, looking at Instagram, but then you cannot answer a phone call inquire, you know, with a driver you know, even a driver calling saying, hey, you know, um, I'm having a little bit of problems finding your address. You know, could you help me out? Or even like um, to us, like at, at night, um, I just cut off. I was in a pretty lucrative area of deliveries that's pretty easy, but I'm cutting off because I still got to get up to go to work in the morning. So I'm not pulling an all nighter in the night. But there's, you know, there's a number of times when I do late night deliveries and I got my headlamp on and I go to these houses and like no light is on in the house. You cannot see the address. And I'm like, and I know like their neighbors probably get upset of by people driving around, turning on their high beams, you know, trying to see the address. And I'm like, why, you know, can, you know, can this video go viral telling people like to illuminate your address, you know, and especially for night delivery drivers, but I'm going to do a multiple part. You know, I'm going to do multiple of these videos, but I'm going to go in debt. But in the comment section, I want to know what are some alternatives to doing food delivery? What do you, have you guys started doing that is more lucrative than food delivery? Peace out.